Hello YouTube, my name is Connor Malayson for Con4 Tutorials, and today I'm going to teach you about uh, how to use arithmetic operators, and uh, how to use a different kind of variable than just string variables. Uh, so, as I just said, there is more than one type of variable. Uh, uh, during the other tutorials, I've been using our string variables. In this tutorial, we're going to use... Um, we're going to use... Uh, just regular number variables that uh, have a number value. Uh, so create a new project and name it arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators, okay. Uh, press K. And uh, let's start programming. Uh, type in uh, what I'm about to type in. A equals 1. B e equals 4. C equals A plus B. Print C. Wait key. And that is our program. And uh, let's run it. And the display is simply 5. And I'm going to tell you uh, what all that means. A is a variable. Now, I know it does not have the dollar sign at the end, like that. But it is a variable. It's a different kind of variable. Instead of a string variable, it is a number variable. And um, a number variable uh, stores a value. And you can uh, you can add variables. You can um, you can add a variable to a number or another variable. Um, you could also just simply add add numbers. But um, uh, in this program, we just added the two variables together. Um, so this is how the computer looks at this. It says a equals 1, so it stores the value 1 in the variable a. b equals 4, it stores the value 4 um, in the variable of b. And then c equals a plus b. And that means that it adds a and b together, and the number that comes out of that is what they store in the c variable. And then when we print when we print C, it just simply prints the C variable. And key, as you know, is for a key to be pressed before in the program. Now, what I want you to do is change this program to change the numbers around and come out with a different answer. Um, uh, so, again, uh, you should comment your things. So, uh... Print the answer. Wait for key to be pressed. Um, okay, so that is our program for the t this video tutorial. And, uh, I hope that you watch other video tutorials in the future. Goodbye.